actually it's not going to be that easy so I'll try and pick her up and do it just want to get used to touching her, touching her wings a bit oh. she's such a scaredy cat it's okay don't fly oh she she's gonna go she's going she's going why do I want to fly when she's on there though I can kind of press her to the cage now and give her a fuss I couldn't have done this three weeks ago she'd be panicking like that three weeks ago so it's amazing how quick you can bond with animals because this jackdaw she's got grey hair no blue eyes I know she's this eyes now is totally white and silver and bloodshot but the other eye it's perfect she won't show you a single bit but, um, it makes me think she's over one I know she's definitely a last year's bird and I rescued, rescued her at the end of March maybe the end of April be three years old. But I wouldn't say she's no older than three but that grey on the back of her head, what I've read about jackdaws, represents their age and the more greyer a jackdaw's head is, is the older. And if it, it could look like an adult and if it's got blue eyes it's only a juvenile. Oh, she looks red, but really I could not really rub the back of her head now. Right? She, she really feels me applying the pressure. I mean, she loves it. Never had this in her life. I feel she's born with impaired vision and she's struggled for her life, and now she's realising hang on a minute, I've got free food, I've got safe there, and I've got a free massage. Oh, I can't be that bad for little Jackie all of a sudden. <laughs> right, I think we should try and put this on her. I'm going to show you how I pick her up. Let me see if I can balance this GoPro on there. Got like a five pound stand, it's so cheap, but I'm just making do with what I've got to help show people that it's great to have nature about. I'm gonna pick her up and then I'm gonna put her back down again on air. I, I spend most of my time tiptoeing around the floors around the parrot and the pigeon. So just basically just put your hand above her. If she tries to push, you open your fingers up like that and let the head let the head go through and these two fingers will kind of just naturally hold the above the wings where the harness is going to go so if you ever want to hold a bird you grab them there Ooh, pecking I like it that she's pecking you though because it means she's getting more used to that there you go, she would have flew straight off Put her in there. as soon as she touches the wood with a beak she knows she's safe Turn around, turn around so you see your good eye. There you go, good girl. There you go. There you go. Not like a normal jack doing now, don't you? Look, see that pupil's out of line. I definitely think she's she's got impaired vision. That pupil don't look right to me. Ding 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 ding. It's so much easier now I can get close to her because before any any if I got anywhere near her, she'd just fly off and be scared. So it's amazing how quick birds do gain trust if you feed them. Mm. See if she steps up. You might just step up. Let's have a go. No Jack. Okay. achievement there. I think what I've got to do, I'm going to have to cover her with the towel and then pop her head out of the towel. So just in the poo again, so now we're safe. You're not going to poo on me now, are you? So in a minute. What are we doing now then? Isn't it pretty thin? She's got a big beak. 
So how the beak needs trimming at the end. She never had that curly bit at the end of a beak three months ago, and now she has. So her beak's curly, it's almost like she's getting like a parrot. So it's because she's eating parrot food. She, you have got a big beak, you have in this camera. You have got a big beak in the camera you have. I can't believe how good she is now. It's amazing how good, it's amazing how far we've come. Alright, let me put you on there a minute. <coughs> I have, to, I have to touch a bee because she don't know. As soon as she touches it, she knows. These cloths are about, she keeps pooing on there. Pigeon feathers everywhere, at least unless it's in your garage. But my car is now outside in the elements. Let's see if I can stretch this a bit. This is going to be hard. She's going to hate me for this. I've just gained trust as well. But if I get her in the harness and she panics, and then I end up taking the harness straight back off her. She won't have experienced why I've put the harness on her. So if I've got her at all costs, get that harness instantly on her and out of the garage. So she could just flap around, go crazy on the harness. Because I know she will, she'll panic. I put the parrot in the harness and he literally turned into a ball. He bit the top of it and then he grabbed it with his two feet and he literally turned into a little yellow ball and started rolling around on the floor. I never put him back in the harness. But Jacka, we have to get you in a harness because she wants to be outside more than anything.